Just over an hour's time, Taylor Swift will take to the stage for her second sold-out concert at Sydney's Olympic Park. Last night, fans braved torrential rain and lightning, while those who missed out on tickets enjoyed the concert from outside. The glitter, the sparkle, the hype, and at the centre of it all, one woman, Taylor Swift. Only in Homebush, the biggest star in the world right now, outshone a full moon. The stadium at capacity on a night they won't forget. Sydney's Taylor moment. <laughs> She was loving it. Also, loving the locals. I think you guys don't understand how cool the Kangaroos are. Because they do have so many. After a week which saw Taylor Swift visit the Sydney Zoo twice. We really love the Sydney Zoo. We've been 100% of our days out there. Outside... Taylor Gators, and it was almost the real deal. Thousands of ticketless fans trekking to Olympic Park just to hear their idol. Even being outside, such a great experience. Every time the tickets came out, we were like seven our laptops. Four iPads. We tried so hard, but we couldn't get them. <laughs> yeah, even though we could get no tickets, we're so happy just to hear with all the other fans. Inside, a stadium brimming, 81,000 fans, super fans, and superstars. Sydney's most famous plus one right now, NFL player Travis Kelsey dancing in the stands. Katy Perry singing along to the hit inspired by a past feud with Taylor. It seems the hatchet is buried. No bad blood for ScoMo. The former PM and his Swifty family in prime seats. Rain delayed the start of the show, but they shook it off and soaked it in. Over the next three and a half hours, the mobile phone network took a hammering. Optus says three terabytes of data were uploaded. That's more than 750,000 pictures, nearly double that of the fans at the MCG last week. What a moment for nine-year-old Scarlett Oliver, a brave girl facing a huge cancer battle, singled out of the crowd for her time with Taylor. A long hug with the superstar saying, I love you, leaving her with a kiss on the hands. A little girl, clearly starstruck, overwhelmed with joy. Scarlett's family saying, seeing her face up there is everything to us. She's the happiest little girl tonight. As Taylor and Travis shared a post-show smooch and he jetted out of the country, thousands of fans poured out into the night, onto trains and back to reality. Night one reviews... The best night, night ever. In Homebush, Lizzie Pearl, Nine News. And Lizzie Pearl is at a core stadium among the action for night two. Lizzie, getting into the spirit tonight, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Georgie, I say if you can't beat him, join. Friendship bracelet shortage or a sequin shortage in Sydney tonight. There will be very soon because these Swifties are going off. Thousands are pouring in from the train station over to a course stadium. The gates opened probably about an hour ago. Look, Taylor is here. She's ready to go. The weather looks like it's going to play ball tonight after last night's thunderstorms delayed the concert for about 20 minutes. So we're in for a big show tonight. Showtime is less than one hour away. Doing us proud, Lizzie. Thank you. <laughs> and let's.